Throne of Liberty has been on everyone's radar since we saw the most epic trailer showing actual gameplay footage and epic large scale combat for both PvE and PvP. In this video, I want to discuss my thoughts on what we're calling fluid combat versus what we're also calling static combat. So just a quick thank you to everyone who watched my last Throne of Liberty video. You guys left some great comments, which ultimately led to some great discussions, which has ultimately led to me creating this video here to discuss actually the difference between static combat and fluid combat and and how and what my personal experience is so a quick background of where my personal experience and feelings are coming from i started my mmo journey in guild wars one which i think started around 2005 or 2006 ba basically whenever it came out and then i played that until guild wars 2 came out in 2012 and between guild wars 1 and guild wars 2 that's basically been my mmo fix and in between guild wars 1 i played loads of other games as well so that was the days of i enjoyed a little bit of wow medal of honor allied assault um battlefield 1942 call of duty etc so guild wars 1 and guild wars 2 has been my main mmo journey essentially guild wars 1 had what we are calling static combat where you essentially approach a player or a mob and when you attack that player or mob your character stands still so you attack on the spot essentially and let me tell you my memories of guild wars 1 uh, they are nothing but absolutely amazing this game honestly it sounds a bit cringe i guess it it has a place in my heart man when i think about guild wars 1 i think oh Oh my god those were the glory days then after some time obviously playing lots and lots of guild wars one with our henchmen and lots of other games in between medal of honor call of duty blah 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 um guild wars 2 was released and in guild wars 2 in guild wars 2 was released with what we are calling what i'm calling fluid combat you're essentially had to attack while moving this game captured me i don't know what it was but this game captured me this person this gave this game basically gave me what i personally was looking for in a game back then large large scale pvp combat exciting in adventures like through the world of Tyria. On top of that, we had these insane open world bosses with hundreds of players, which were truly epic. Now, of course, every game comes with its problems, but onto the present day where we've recently seen the launch of New World with its action combat, which I think gave people that next stage of combat. So there's potentially like a little bit of time on here. We've gone from static combat to fluid combat to action combat and MMOs, but obviously we won't get into to the details of why this play uh, this game has completely dropped its player base a lot of you guys will know i've covered new world since its launch and i've played it since its launch so we won't we won't dive into that too much right now um there's lots of details outside of the action combat which is why new world has has failed but the action combat in new world was genuinely good fun and it still is good fun today but i think this is where throne and liberty comes in now the trailer did actually show static combat if you go back and pay attention <laughs> um so we've got what they were promoting us but the trailer also in my opinion felt like there was a lot of movement movement with hundreds of players charging at each other in large scale combat and the feeling the trailer gave the action and the combat and the feeling of playing felt a lot more fluid than what people got when they tried the recent beta and i think this is where a lot of the disappointment comes from because i think a lot of people expected either some sort of action or some sort of fluid combat not this combat that we've seen back in guild wars 1 18 years ago or whatever it was at this point so onto the topic fluid combat versus static combat so a lot of you guys in the previous video commented saying one of the reasons static combat has worked so well was because in lineage 2 it allowed for the largest pvp battles i think we've ever seen and i think people who have played l2 and have had good memories in in lineage 2 want to see that again in throne of liberty so i think we can essentially dub throne of liberty as lineage 3 right you know that's it's the continuation on in the series with updated graphics updated systems and, and, and so on and so forth but with the lineage 2 combat at its core which has worked so well in the past obviously if you dive deep into how much money they've made they have made a shed ton of money <laughs> however if we think about what guild wars 2 was able to do about 10 years ago with their large-scale fluid combat now i know this isn't as large as lineage 2 but guild wars 2 did have large scale combat people have gotten used to having more control over their characters rather than being locked in one place that's coming from my personal experience and i, I think a lot of other people obviously playing other types of genres and other types of games have a similar feeling where you know when you use your sword skill use it just a just a single left click attack you want to be able to move your character slightly so you have a little you feel like you've got a little bit more control so this has kind of been the discussion so having a static combat system allows for extra large 
battles and then having like an action combat as we've seen for example in new world is breaking combat you know you all remember the the wars at the start <laughs> shambles right um but then we have this fluid combat or dubbing fluid combat in the middle which we saw in guild wars 2 and i i think people would like to see what we experienced in guild wars 2 what we experienced in new world and what we've experienced in lineage 2 in one big mmo now i don't know if that's possible but i think that's what people were and are expecting in the next mmo now my feeling is that static combat did have a place and does have a place but that was about 15 years ago so given what's possible given what we've seen in guild wars i'd love to see the large scale epicness of lineage 2 battles combined with the fluidness of guild wars 2 combat to create basically this large mmrpg that we could all play you know our forever mmo <laughs> potentially or maybe those who enjoyed lineage 2 can play throne of liberty and those who want more of a fluid combat shut up and wait for i don't know guild wars 3 if it ever comes out <laughs> Now, honestly, I'd love to hear your feelings on this topic. It's it's a big topic around Throne of Liberty. I, I am definitely on the fence, you know. Let Throne of Liberty do its thing. Wait for the next, you know, MMO that has this fluid combat. But I'd also love to see... Because Throne of Liberty has what we want, you know. It has these large-scale battles. It has these epic castle sieges. It has these epic open-world bosses. It has what so many of us want. We just don't want the autoplay, and we don't want the static combat. Most of us. Now, obviously, there is a place for it, and that runs back to what I've just recently said. Let TNL be its thing. Wait for was three but i'd love to hear your opinion let me know in the comments below what you guys think um obviously if you enjoyed the video consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you on the next one